There's one setting in Escape from Tarkov which I've overlooked for several updates at this point that can help reduce your VRAM usage by over a gigabyte in some cases, and that's MIP streaming. If you don't know what MIP streaming is, it's essentially your CPU offloading high-res textures from your VRAM to your Windows caches to reduce the amount of VRAM usage so that you don't bottleneck out. Now, this won't fix it if you have, say, a two gigabyte card, a two gigabytes VRAM card, it's like a 770, you're not gonna be able to <laughs> reach that low. But if you have four gigabytes or six gigabytes of VRAM like I do, this may help you out a lot. Now, I know on Lighthouse, I often hit that six gigabyte limit. When there's a lot of PVP going on, I often hit that limit. So discovering this was a godsend and I'm going to show you the results here and also how it's a little bit broken. So as you can see now I have MIP streaming on and I'm by the cabin on the north side of Lighthouse right now and we're sitting just under 4 gigabytes of VRAM which is pretty good. Now don't mind me in the future telling you why this is good because I totally didn't record this first and then switched over to turn off MIP streaming because I had it on before. As you can see, we've loaded back on the lighthouse now with MIP streaming disabled. Things obviously do look a bit better, uh, but my VRAM is kind of shitting itself right now at 5.4 gigabytes out of six. I have a 1066 gigabyte, by the way. Yeah, it's not really not really looking too hot for uh, for the old VRAM right now. And this is on an offline raid, by the way. So I will put up some figures from an online raid that I'll do on this location just so that you guys can see. What the usage is an online raid you'll probably see it come up on the screen now but having mip streaming on took off over 1.4 gigabytes the interesting thing about mip streaming is that for some reason it says it will apply after a restart but it doesn't uh, if i go into my settings right now and enable mip streaming it actually applies some of the changes right then and there. As you can see, I applied it, and now I'm back down almost entirely to where I was before, maybe spare 100 megabytes or so. So it doesn't do everything fully, and I'm not even sure if it does what it's supposed to do correctly, but it still works even when you check it in game, which I thought was very interesting, even though it says that you need to restart your game in order for it to work. So if the Q apocalypse comes back again and you're not able to restart your game before, you know, when applying these settings, it won't kill you. Honestly, it's there's not much of, of a difference in between restarting it and, and not. Uh, even when I go back in and disable the setting again without restarting, we still have nearly a gigabyte cut off our VRAM usage. I can run around. Is this still low res? It's still low res. But it's still a gigabyte under. Yeah, even when you check it and then uncheck it in raid, it still applies changes. So it might be bugged in that regard. I'm not too sure. When setting this though, I would recommend setting it on and then fully, you know, restarting your game. As doing this, I'm not sure if this is how it's supposed to work. So following the official guidelines would be recommended. So if you really did need a quick boost or in this case, deduction of VRAM usage, say you're on Lighthouse, you're in a PvP fight and you need to make sure that your VRAM isn't capping out and you get stutters, you can simply enable it and then disable it again and then and then you're good. It's insane how it does this and even though it can look a little bit dog shit, honestly, that's okay. Four to six gigabytes of VRAM is, I'd say, mid-tier. Six gigabytes more in the mid-tier, four gigabytes more low end, but anybody who has a six gigabyte card or less should probably keep this on most of the time. You won't need it for small maps like factory or labs, I'd say, but if you're on lighthouse or if you're on woods or if you're on reserve and you're seeing your VRAM is maxing out, I'd recommend enabling the setting and trying it out for yourself. Uh, let me know what results you guys see in the comments below because I am very intrigued to see how other people, uh, other people's games react and other people's systems react to this change and even setting it on while you're in raid to see the difference. It'll be very interesting. And I want to thank you guys for all the comments that you've been leaving, all the support that you guys have been showing recently. It has been insane um, seeing all you guys would come in and I, I, I couldn't be happier. Uh, the algorithm is 
encouraging me to do the stuff that I love. So it, it's 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 really amazing to see. But with that out of the way, I'm gonna put some tests I did on various maps on the screen after this before the outro. So if you want to watch those, go right ahead. But Besides that, if you want to test this out for yourself, simply check on that setting when you get in Tarkov, restart, and see how you do. But with all that out of the way, it's Clem. Signing off. Later. Wait. It's clocking out. What am I doing? I don't even know my own outro. See ya. Oh, no!